grids onto the shower. Um, I already have cut the pieces and put black paint and poly on them. And so now I just have to attach them. And I've done um, the other side, you can see right there, all of the grids over there. And then I did these yesterday. So I just thought I'd show you um, some of the things I've learned. Um, I just put a line of this glue that holds up against moisture and all of that. I try and put it towards the top because it kind of slides once I put it on. And then I have marked where I want it. So um, I get my small level. This is the only one that doesn't fit inside, but put it right there. And then I put a piece of tape on the bottom. Check the top again, looks level. And if any glue leaks out, I just get a cloth and it wipes right off, no problem. So sometimes you have to move it around a little bit and you get some glue showing on the glass. It wipes right off when it's wet with a rag and leaves no marks, no residue. So it's that easy. And then make sure that it's pressed down. Once it's in place and level, and the glue says it sets in 30 minutes. So, but I left this overnight. And see, there's some glue um, here, but I can get that off with a razor blade. I let it dry. I didn't. I learned that you can wipe it with a rag when it's wet today, but um, that was beforehand. So I got my next piece cut, ready to go here. Get it level with this other one I already put on. So for these longer pieces, you put tape on the bottom. Tape on the bottom. And then the glue line, like three quarters of the way up. waterproof glue that I used on the whole back of this all the way to the top and bottom because then I'm not even sure you'd have to do this step um, because you can see on the inside of the door where the glue is and the glue kind of seals any crack that would be there but anyways I didn't do that so I just put some um, clear silicone bath caulk on a tiny little paintbrush and just um, put it into the crack. And um, this is the neatest way I've figured out to do this because I don't want a big, huge caulk line. I've tried a couple different brands of caulk and um, none of them just go on like a super thin bead that wouldn't be noticeable. Or take away from the design so anyways this is um, you can see from the back when you open the door if it's sealed or not 
because you can see if some of the clear crop got just under the grid on the edge and that's all you really need. Oh. So first I apply it to a full square. Then I get, uh, I was going through paper towels like crazy. So anyways, now I just get a little square of paper towel and wipe off the excess. And then whatever is sealing that crack between the grid and the, um, and the glass stays. Okay. And then you can open it to see if it's sealed. That one looks great. So um, let me bring you a little closer so you can see what I mean. So this is the inside of the door and those grids, you can see if it's sealed on the outsides of the square.